boys and girls, we are being duped in a cataclysmic fashion. We are having a wall pulled over our eyes. We are the victims of quite an impressive illusion, it has to be said. Have you ever seen a film, The Usual Suspects? There's a line in it. I'll probably butcher it, but it goes along the lines of the best trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Great line. Not sure how apt that is, but somehow there are some West Ham fans convinced that we've just made a really, really good sign-in. Let me tell you who it is. I'll keep you in suspense no more. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me introduce to you Maximilian Hahn. Who is he? Who is this guy? This is the right back we've been looking for, right? Oh, I know. This is that guy that can play left back and or left wing. No, no, no. He's the guy that can slot in at striker and score us all those goals. No, n none of the above, I'm afraid. Maximilian Hahn is... Brrr, he's a scout. Um... He don't even go to games. This guy sits on a computer and does it. He's a data analyst. Now, how, OK, let me just, I mock and I joke. Well, I don't. That's all true. Um, I have every respect, right, for, for scouts. Every club needs good scouts. West Ham need good scouts. Absolutely. It's not the fact that we've signed a scout. It's the fact that it's such big news. I saw it in the comments. Somebody said, have we signed anybody yet? It was, it was in there. You could do a search. West Ham's latest signing. It's a scout. How has it come to this? How has this happened? When, when, did, when did this happen? Was I sleepwalking into this stuff? Look, I was less excited than most about Tim Steiton. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> That's the truth of the matter. And then I guess as more happened, I got more excited. Every time I saw him on that private jet unveiling a new sign-in, I got more and more into it. I, I have basically, by the end of it, convinced myself that this guy being in charge of West Ham transfers is a good thing. Let's be fair, we needed the help. We absolutely, that wasn't me passing wind. That was the squeaky chair, by the way, just so we're, we're clear on that. We need all the help we can get. We don't need the dictator of football, David Sullivan, signing players anymore. No, no, no. We don't need any of that. David Moyes, oh, he gets a lot wrong, doesn't he? I mean, let's be fair. David Moyes has the capacity to sign a player for 28 million and decide he really, really wants him and then decide after sort of uh, five minutes actually doesn't want him anymore. Honestly, it, it sounds like my daughter in a toy shop. It, it really, really does. So we, we don't need that, OK? And the, the, the difference is these players are costing 28 million quid rather than, rather than sort of 28 quid. Um, that you might spend in a toy shop. So I, I thought it was just great. Let's bring in the director of football. Bring him on. Tim Stiton, love him. Welcome, Tim. Love you to bits, mate. Fantastic. Um, I, I, I get it. I, I sort of get it. But has he got that bad that we're heralding uh, <laughs> playing out the red carpet treatment for a scout? Honestly, I mean, to read you some stuff. I'll read you some stuff. Of course you do. I wouldn't normally, I don't like to read, not during a video, but we'll have a go. Um... A uh, Khan. Uh, Khan's a data analyst. Um, he's no ordinary data analyst, by the way. Uh, he's a top expert. He, he's a data. He's a data-driven expert whose scouting skills are incredibly sharp. Um, this is all part, apparently, of Tim Steiton's master plan. Look, I, I don't mock it. I, I think that Tim Steiton should bring in scouts. He really should. But come on, we need signings. We need players. I cannot believe this. I think we'll probably get them. I really do. But if, is this honestly what we're looking at here? Uh, it's, it's crazy. Look, this guy, he's at Verde Bremen, or, or he was. He's, he's, he's about to sign, or he has signed for West Ham. Um, I, mean, I really don't know what to say about him. He, um, he says uh, his previous stint uh, with Sports Technologies Coordinator at Werder Bremen, uh, he's got a rich coaching background. Uh, he promises to be a valuable addition to the Hammers scouting department. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's, it's just that. <laughs> what's that? I don't I know what's next. Du, 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 du. Scrolling yellow ticker tape banner across the bottom of Sky Sports News. West, you know, breaking news. Maureen has just signed for West Ham United as their tea lady. We're, we're, we're absolutely delighted to announce that Beryl has not left West Ham, but she's having to take Tuesdays off. So what we're doing is just replacing her on a Tuesday. Uh, she makes she makes a lovely frappuccino. Uh, what, what, at what point does this stop? It's ridiculous. Come on. We need a striker, all right, or, 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 or an attacker or, or something like this. Let me, let me finish. He said, this manoeuvre is being viewed as a significant coup for West Ham, stimulating hope amongst the West Ham fans that Hahn will play a critical role in propelling the club's future success. Scouts are important, OK, but a significant coup. That's great. If this guy is, and let's be fair, 
let's, let's be fair. If he is the best scout in the world, fantastic. But he's unlikely to be. Let, let's say he is, he's a one, one of the very best scouts. Brilliant. Welcome to West Ham. But in terms of list of important jobs at West Ham, it, 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 it ain't a whopper. You know what I mean? It, it, it's really not a whopper. I, I, don't, I don't wish to sound ungrateful. And I don't wish to make him unwelcome. I hope he's not watching this bloody video, by the way. Welcome, uh, uh, Maximilian. Welcome, sir. Um, no, I don't want him to feel unwelcome. I, I just don't know how this has become such big whopping news. I guess here I am feeding into it by doing a video on it. But it's more about my surprise that this smoke and mirrors thing, it's almost like there's just this wonderful magic trick where it's misdirection, isn't it? Oh, look, look at the scout. Look at the scout over there. And then, oh, but, you know, there's... um. There's uh, no players being signed over there. Honestly, when you read this thing and you read this headline, West Ham make their f <laughs> make their first signing of the January transfer window, and I, it was I was so I was elated and oh, is that it? And, and people, a lot of people are excited about it. It's very excited about it. I get that. I guess we've we've got so little to talk about. Uh, that, well, I'm doing a video about it, but we've got so little to talk about that this is what it's about. Honestly, it's it's a bit like I guess it's a bit like being promised a Lamborghini. I think I'm going to get myself a nice sport. Hey, boom, going to get myself a nice sports car here, and then what you get delivered is a skateboard. But your enthusiasm hasn't diminished. Come on, yes, the skateboard. Check out my ride. Look at that, man. I mean, come on. Ridiculous. Anyway, we wish him well. We wish him well. Uh, I'm sure he's very good. Hopefully he can assist players in the future and help us identify talent. But I was sort of under the impression that Tim Stuyton, who didn't so much have a little black book. I've, we were here. I wasn't hearing a little black book. The word I was hearing, it's a good word, was portfolio. Portfolio. That Now, I don't know why. When I say the word portfolio... You're not thinking a, a little post-it note, are you? When I'm saying portfolio, I'm I'm thinking a ring binder. That's what that's what I've got. A thick, thick ring. I mean, I'm player after player. Ne never mind that. I'm I'm separate categories. I've I've got goalkeeper, defence, attack, um, and then we've got left backs, right backs. I'm I'm want to be pouring through this thing for ages. Anyway, my point is that I was under the impression that Tim Stuyton was coming to West Ham with his portfolio. Um, anyway, it's good. West Ham are building. Really good. West Ham are building an infrastructure. Don't be saying in the comments, oh, my God, that's important we build an infrastructure. I know it. My, my, and, I, and I'm pleased. My only complaint, if it is a complaint or surprise, is that this being heralded as big news. Big news. Brilliant news. It's not. It, it's, it's no news. It's no news. This guy just has to operate behind the scenes, bring us players in. We're never meant to know these people's names anyway. Good luck to him, all right? Honestly, good luck to him. Good luck to West Ham. It's part of the staff that Tim Stuyton is, is putting together. But that's his job, isn't it? He, he's the director of football. He's got, to, he's got to bring in the best coach. He's got to bring in all this stuff, you know. Whatever. I, I, I honestly, honestly, I don't know. But this is not the news I need to hear at the moment. The news I need to hear at the moment is that West Ham have signed a couple of players in the transfer window. I mean, it's not going to happen before the Sheffield United game now, clearly. It really should have happened. Um, look, Maximilian Hahn, welcome. I, I, I am quite sure when we're re revealing that, that big player being unveiled in 2026, who we've taken time to scout, it'd be brilliant. What a player. What a corker. But for now... I just find it really hard to call this West Ham's. West Ham's brilliant winter window signing.